Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of The Love and Light Show. And today I have the lovely Shannon Edgett with me, and she's going to take a minute to share the link with people who are wondering where they go find it at, and I encourage you guys to share the love and light in the world with your friends and family, because the world needs more love and light. So today you're going to hear Shannon and I discuss all about love, sex, and relationships. So have you ever been hurt in a relationship? I feel like most of us can relate to that. Or do you have any fear or trauma or negative energy that you're ready to release around love, sex, relationships? Because if so, you're going to want to tune in for this entire episode to get some wonderful food healing downloads, to hear from Shannon and all kinds of cool tips and tricks that will help you along your journey. And this is a conversation, so I'm going to acknowledge everyone as they come in. Any questions or comments you have, feel free to join. So hello, Leslie, Prince, Anne. Uh, Anya, Bernard, thank you all for joining us live, and I wanted to say thank you all so much for all of your wonderful sharing and spreading and engagement from last week's episode. We had over 2,000 views, so thank you so much for sharing this. Be sure to tag your friends, share it out to your people, and be that light in other people's worlds. So hello to those of you who are joining live. Thank you all so much for joining us. And we have a wonderful episode. So if you're brand new to the Love and Light Show, it's all about helping you on your healing journey. I love that there's so many modalities and healers out there, amazing light workers, people who are doing great work in this world, who are supporting people on their journeys. And there's so many ways that you can move forward on your journey. So I am in love with Love and Light and that we get to share our messages and join together and have this as a safe space to grow and develop and heal on your journey. So I'm so grateful for all the engagement and I encourage you guys to continue to say all the wonderful things in the comments. So hello lovely ladies, have this says Hi Jolene, hi Nicole, hi Rachel. Thank you all so much for joining us and spreading this love and light and thank you Shannon for sharing it out for the people who are wondering about the link. It is on my personal Facebook page so feel free to add me as a friend. And you'll be able to know how to tune in every Monday at noon Atlantic time. So if you're brand new to me as well, I know I've had a ton of new friends and new people that I've been connecting with through the show. So I'm Laura McPhee and I'm a happiness coaching healer. So I love to empower women to get to their dream happy lives. And I specialize with people pleasers, imperfectionists, and workaholics, people who are caregivers and just stressed out or feeling overwhelmed in their life and who want to live their dream happy life so they can feel happy and healthy and fulfilled and lit up and abundant in their life because we all deserve that and I love the quote you can be the change you wish to see the in the world because that's the only thing we have control of you don't have control over all the external people in your life their actions and their behaviors but you can control your own so I encourage you to be that change in your family with your children with your workplace and your community so we can all lift the vibration of the planet and make this world a better place and experience all these positive ripple effects. So I love working with my personal clients and people in my life to engage more self-love and care so they can be giving from a full place. Because I've been there. I've been in a corporate soul sucking job where I just felt drained because I was working overtime and unappreciated. I was giving, giving, giving to everyone around me. I was a yes girl. I'd say yes to basically anything that you wanted from me. So I just was exhausted by it all and I decided that I wanted to be happy and I want to help the women in their lives who are like, yeah, I want to be happy too. I want to be the light and know that it's not selfish to take this time for yourself. It's actually amazing and it's a joyful place to be giving from. You can still be generous and caring and amazing. You're just giving it from a different intentional place. So hello, Alex. Hi, Tanya. Um, hi, Carlos. Hi, Paulette. There was more people who joined. Tanya, hi, Brian. Hi, the wonderful people who are joining us live. And I'm going to introduce Shannon in a second. So thank you so much for sharing that out. So Shannon is an intuitive healer, and she specializes in life coaching and theta healing. And she's been amazing in my life as a mentor, and she knows so many cool things. She taught me how to do palmistry. She does cool workshops on it and is going to do more in the new year, so I'm sure she'll tell you more about that. She also does intuitive readings with tarot cards and she does dream interpretation she has so much experience and so many cool things that she does and she's amazing she helps empower women find their purpose and get more pleasure out of their life and happiness and joy so she has so many cool tips and tricks you're going to learn so much from her today you guys are going to learn for the new people who are joining 
how expectations can actually harm our relationships, what unconditional love is. You're going to learn how to release some of those fears and traumas around sexual experiences or your love life and your relationships, how to be more grateful in your relationship. She has so much amazing knowledge to give. She's been so important in my life and my journey. I'm so grateful for having her in my life, and I'm here today to share this amazing message with you guys. So I'm introducing Shannon. Hi, guys. Um, I guess I'll start by talking a little bit about myself and how I came here uh, mm -hmm. to figure out this is something I wanted to share with the world. Um, I uh, was bullied a lot when I was growing up, and you know, my early concepts of what it was to be in a relationship were very skewed. Um, I felt like I had to do what was expected of me and do everything I could to please the other person. Um, most of my early relationships were very broken, very, very demanding, very abusive. And with time and personal growth, I, I learned that I'm worth so much more than what I was setting myself up for. Um, and through that in itself, I, I started to see that I wasn't alone. I wasn't the only person out there who were picking people who did them harm in their relationships or who thought very lowly of, of their personal worth. So I wanted to start reaching out to other people and, and show them that they were worth so much more than someone who expected them to have the house spotless by the time they got home, to have supper on the table, to mind the children, and also pull in most of the income for the household. Um, we deserve, as women, but as people, to have an equal share in our partnerships. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was amazed to discover you can actually have that. You, mm -hmm. you deserve to have it. You can create that. It's just a matter of knowing how. You know, most of us grow up watching our parents, uh, watching TV, watching society, and we think that those are the rules that apply in relationships and, and in love and in sex. Uh, and it creates this huge wall from the reality of it all. Um, so through my experiences of bullying, my abusive relationships, traveling back and forth across the country, um, I, I learned how to connect to my own truth around love and, and sex and, and relationships and what those are supposed to look like uh, and what they can look like. Awesome. And thank you so much for joining. And I'll acknowledge all the people who've been contributing so people were saying hi Pamela join Philip Tanya in 2018 we need to meet yeah definitely 2018 is gonna be an awesome year Ali joined Ola and Karen hi thank you guys so much for joining and Jody Bodhi said hello I'm going through a difficult time in a twin flame relationship an idea on our future together or not would be appreciated please so we'll see if that comes up in the theta healing downloads hello Tina hi Marie Hi, Ola. Thank you guys all for joining us live. So, did you want to talk more about some of those modalities? So, palmistry, I loved. I, like, heavily encouraged her. I'm like, she was giving me tidbits, and I'm like, I need to know more. I need to know more. I need to know how to do this. So, <laughs> all your awesome workshops and teaching other people how to do these amazing modalities. So, one of the first methodologies I picked up was palmistry. Um, it really fascinated me that your hand, which is a physical thing on your body, could tell you so much information. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to know why that worked. Uh, so I picked up a book when I was 16 and I started to learn. Uh, so I've been doing this for over 20 years and it really is amazing to me how uh, you can see how many children you're going to have. You can see how your career is going to shift, when you're going to change jobs, uh, when you may have a significant illness in your life. Mm -hmm. uh, but what else is really amazing is just because you're seeing something in the palm doesn't mean that it's set in stone. I can see through time how you've shifted your life, how you can take something and go, I don't want this to be my reality mm -hmm. and create something else from it. Laura herself yes. has <laughs> seen her hand change in the it's last awesome. six months. Um, relationship lines change. I'm like, oh my God, it's different. And I'm like photographing it to be like, this is different. <laughs> yeah. So for me, it's a fascinating experience and something that I love sharing and, mm -hmm. and love knowing. And it's an amazing tool. It, you know, I call, call it your personal map because mm -hmm. right here you have a roadmap of how you're going to look throughout the rest of your life. And if you know how to read it and interpret it, you know where you're going and where you might want to avoid. Take a detour. Yeah. 
and learn with ease and joy before it happens. Because you're like, hey, this could happen. Do I want that as reality? Not really. Let's do some work on that. Yeah. And then you get into empowering people in your sessions who want to move forward with baby healing. Just like I, the family, seen huge shifts in my life through theta healing. You've done amazing work with me through theta healing. So do you want to tell people more about that? So theta healing, if you haven't gotten any tidbits from Laura by following her show and her stuff, uh, is a phenomenal tool mm -hmm. to help you change your life. Uh, all tools can help you change your life, but Theta Healing lets you rewrite the program. You mm -hmm. go through your life uh, living it on autopilot. You automatically and instinctively will do the same things over and over again. Theta Healing allows you to change what that looks like. If you are always um, running into a problem and you just can't seem to figure out how to do it differently, mm -hmm. Theta Healing goes in and rewrites the program so you now know how to do it differently, how to create a different way, a different method, you know, how to make a different choice from that autopilot, that auto decision that comes up over and over again. Uh, and this can be applied to everything in your life, what kind of jobs you're manifesting for yourself, what kind of relationships you're attracting, how much money you allow in your life. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it can apply to your health. Uh, it can apply to... Uh, you know, the, the free time that you have, uh, you know, the, just every little piece. And, mm -hmm. and you can tell, like, I'm very yeah. passionate about it because the way I've helped rewrite my own life has shown me how an effective tool this thing can be. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Rachel joined us and she knows we took the healing with her as well. And she's like, got rid of a ton of her junk. She used to have MS and we're living without that in her life and she's doing amazing things. So hi Michelle, thanks for joining us. Hi Chris, he also said, I love Theta, it works, it for sure works. So thank you guys so much for joining us live, we appreciate it. So do you want to talk a little bit more about the relationship piece, like expectations and the herd and get into the Theta healing demos whenever you feel called to? Yeah, so um, often in relationships we walk in and we don't realize it but we have these expectations about what's supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you, you expect your partner to buy you flowers, for example, but your partner doesn't know that. You know, maybe mm -hmm. in their household or all the TV shows that they watched or kinds of friends that they have, a way of showing love to their partner was actually, um, you know, doing nice things for them, like making mm -hmm. sure the driveway was cleared out or uh, making sure that their car was washed or things like that. So if you're expecting flowers and nice dinners and things like that, and, and they think that tours and activities is a way of expressing love, that all mm -hmm. of a sudden that expectation isn't being met and that communication isn't happening. Um, a good principle, I'm sure some of you have heard about it, is the five love languages. Yes, I love that. Being aware of what your love language is, how you say and express love, and how you like to receive love and expressions of love will open you to the ability to balance how you guys are saying, I love you. Mm -hmm. um, one of my old methods was to clean. Uh, I told my partner I loved them by making sure the meals were hot on the table when they got home, uh, that the house was spotless, that you know all the chores were taken care of, their laundry was clean, but he needed quality time. He needed me to be mm -hmm. present with him sit down on the couch, look him in the eyes. It didn't matter what we were doing. I was spending time one-on-one -on -one with him. Mm -hmm. But for me, I had so much to do. And I I wasn't hearing him say, hey, thank you for this. I really appreciate the fact that you did these things. Mm -hmm. And I wanted him to pick up the shovel and clean the driveway mm -hmm. and, and make sure the car was in tune and all these other things. And because that wasn't his way, he wasn't telling me he loved me according to my expressions. Mm -hmm. um, so with time, we learned that he wanted the one-on-one -on -one exchange and I needed the response through chores and activities. And um, we realized the whole time when we were resenting each other and holding each other accountable for our expectations, mm -hmm. we were actually just not communicating what we needed from each other. So. And that's just one piece, like one mm -hmm. layer of expectation, um, you know, when you start dating someone, you know, what is that supposed to look like for you? Mm -hmm. Do you tell your, your partner, your potential person that, well, you know, I like it when this is happening. Mm -hmm. And that translates to the bedroom as well. Yeah. You know, yeah, so when we're having our encounters, you know, private time, one-on-one, -on -one, 
a lot of us expect our partner to just automatically figure out what to do. Mm -hmm. They will instinctively know they're supposed to touch this or press that or don't go there. We're so not into that. Mm -hmm. But if you don't use your words, if you don't express, listen, I'm really into this. Can we do a little more? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, listen, I'm not comfortable. Can we avoid going that? Having those discussions, having those exchanges, it's going to be blind. It's going to be a little sour. It might get mm -hmm. a little stale and repetitive. Um, and, and this is another realm of better life when we're having those exchanges. Uh, we often get afraid to ask for what we want. Yeah. We, we have these expectations that what we want, which is simply love, pleasure, and affection, mm -hmm. uh, will be denied us, that we are undeserving to mm -hmm. have those things, or um, that we'll be rejected for wanting those things. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and whatever form that looks like, be it something that's weird or something that's standard, we mm -hmm. still have those fears. Yes. And it's so true. Like, the more I encourage people to do it in baby steps, like my clients personally, because I used to have such a blocked throat chakra, like, I would not speak what I needed to my partners. Like, that would cause a bunch of mistakes and heartache in the past because I grew up with the blueprint of women serve men. Women do this. Women have sex to keep their way in. Women do all of these things. So I definitely had a lot of negative friends that I've had to work through over the time to be like, I need to ask for what I need in a day-to-day -day life. I need to clearly communicate. So the love languages, I highly recommend everyone read it. Everyone who wants a relationship and wants to be healthy, you can even do the online quiz with it and do it with your partner. It's a fun exercise. You can open up that communication channel because when you're on the same page, you're able to have those more vulnerable and authentic discussions where you're like, okay, like my number one love language is physical touch here and I really need you to give me a big hug. Like it's great that you're mowing the lawn and doing all these wonderful things. Like I love that you just bought me a gift and you're bringing me flowers, but I really need you to hold me and cuddle me and tell me these things. And to have that amount of check-in time with yourself to discover what you really need for yourself so that you can openly ask your partner and be out there and say, I love you and I want this to be a win-win. I want you to be able to freely express what you need and what you're feeling so you can have those brave conversations where you're feeling really genuinely authentic and heard with your partner. And that definitely translates into the bedroom where you can have whole new levels of pleasure and joy. And I love that Shannon has helped you on so many levels of that along with a million other people. So I love that you can like deepen this in your personal life, make those Day to day baby steps and then deepen it in the bedroom as well for a lot more fun. It's worth it for sure. <laughs> so this is the big piece. You know, mm -hmm. people get stuck in their fear and their expectations. Um, but they, the big picture is we just want to be loved. Mm -hmm. We want someone to accept us for who we are, yes. to know us, to, to no matter what, just be there for us. Mm -hmm. uh, and expectations apply to love too. Yes. We have so many thoughts about what love is supposed to look like and it goes into the same things mm -hmm. if you don't mow the lawn for me you don't make dinner for me if you don't do all these other things then you don't actually love me yeah. it goes into the language the communication the expressions mm -hmm. we have to be open to what love can look like mm -hmm. and to give ourselves permission to experience it because a lot of us hold back out mm -hmm. of fear that we're going to lose it yeah. and then we end up losing the experience in total mm -hmm. definitely and i'll acknowledge some more people who have been hopping on while we're having this wonderful conversation so hi melissa thanks for joining us crystal and angela thanks so much for joining and tanya says i asked for what i want in life nobody can read our minds and that is so true and i love also gratitude practices and mm -hmm. shannon was really cool in showing how you can also bring that into your relationship so do you want to share with our viewers on that too um when I was having a really difficult time in my previous relationship, uh, we were really resenting each other. We were not seeing a way that we could make it work. And mm -hmm. one of the practices we did was every morning when we woke up next to each other, didn't matter if we were angry from the night before or if, if we were struggling with sadness, we would look at each other. And before anything else came out of our mouths, we would say three things that we were grateful for about the mm -hmm. other person. It could be minor, you know, if you're furious and you just <laughs> can't see much, I'm grateful that you're willing to lay next to me. Mm -hmm. You know, I am grateful that you are willing to mow the lawn. I am grateful that you let me drink coffee when you don't like it. You know, <laughs> simple stuff like that. 
But if you can see deeper, you can look at the bigger things. I'm grateful that you put up and help me see the depths of my pain and suffering. Yeah. I, I'm grateful that you show me the other parts of life that I'm still learning about, mm -hmm. you know, the, the depth and magnitude. So it's a simple little exercise that you can start your day in gratitude yeah. and you can start your relationship with a good boost mm -hmm. of like, hey, I love you. And yeah. that simple little gesture sometimes will revert things. Will, will Even though you've got that anger and that frustration, you'll be like, you know what? Yeah, you do love me. Mm -hmm. You know, I might be mad because you don't mow the lawn and I really don't want to do it myself. Mm -hmm. But you do love me. Yeah. And I love that too for having arguments. So anyone who's taken a workshop with me, I encourage people to take breaks from an argument because it's not productive when there's just all these emotions in it. And if you're tired or hungry or angry or just furious, sometimes it's good to take a break and do some self-care. So with my relationship, I also started adding in the gratitude. So if we take a break, and that we come back, or even in the moment, if we're like, okay, this is getting a little bit negative, we'll reframe it and say, okay, I'm really grateful that this, this, this. And it just kind of brings you back into that loving state and loving energy because the world needs us to show up in the loving state and loving energy. There's so many of us who are just hurt and acting out of hurt. So the more we can mindfully shift that program in our head, from learning through hardships or learning negative experiences to being more loving and caring and gentle with ourselves and with our partners and the different relationships we have in our life, the better it is for everyone. So hi guys, thanks for joining. <laughs> grateful for coffee, yes. Hashtag grateful, yes, definitely. Uh, love and light, awesome. It's such a special word to say you're grateful. Thank you so much for everyone commenting and joining the conversation. And I encourage everyone who's joining, we have so many people live, so I always encourage you guys to leave your, leave your comments, leave all the feedback, all the value points that you're getting, and share it with people who would also need this message. So now I'm super excited for the next portion where Shannon's going to give amazing downloads on unconditional love, on healing sexual traumas, healing the negative stuff in your life, whatever comes up, especially for you guys. If you want to leave any comments and specific things that have been coming up for you, We'll see what she feels called to heal for you guys today. And I encourage you guys to really just take the next couple minutes, close down whatever you're doing. I know I'm a bit of a multitasker too. I like to have things playing in the background so that I'm learning while I'm doing all my to-do list items. But I encourage you to take the next couple minutes for yourself. I'm going to participate by saying yes. So if you're not familiar with data healing, we're essentially just downloading new things through your higher power. So I'm sure she'll use creator, higher power. Whatever yours is, you can substitute that in your head. So you can say, mine is God or angels, higher beings. Um, the universe yes, used a lot. Source, um, yes. So whatever that looks like for you, you can totally substitute that in your head for when she says that. And then you can say yes. So I encourage you to say yes in the comments to really release all the stuff that's no longer serving you so that you can move forward to have way healthier and happier relationships and sex and love in your life because you really deserve it. So I encourage you guys to really participate and engage for your own healing journey. So take it away, Shannon. All right. So welcome. And uh, I ask for your permission to work with you and, and your higher power in this moment. Mm -hmm. um, for those of you who want this, who are ready to receive it, uh, I offer the healing that you know what love is as creator knows what love is, mm -hmm. that you allow yourself to feel love as the creator wants you and offers you the opportunity to feel love, that you know that you deserve love, what love can feel like, what love can be like, and you give yourself permission to open yourself to that kind of love in your life. If you want this, simply type yes, say yes out loud, yes. allow this opportunity into your life. And let's show you what unconditional love can be, that you deserve to have unconditional love in your life, that it's safe for you to open yourself, to receive, and to share unconditional love with the world around you. Yes. And here, we often experience a lot of trauma because when we open ourselves to unconditional love, there's so much fear that can accompany it. So here, I offer you the opportunity to release any fear, any trauma, any experiences that marred you, that hurt you, that scarred you. We're going to release you 
on all levels, all layers, any languages, any methods that this has happened for you. We're going to release you from all of those things um, in all of the possible ways that they can have, sh have and can have shown up in your life. And if you want that, just simply say yes. Yeah. In this moment, I'm going to add everything that we're asking for from Creator in this moment is done with joy and with ease. Mm -hmm. The reason we ask for joy and ease is because if you want a million dollars in your life, you can have it by winning the lotto. Or you can have it by getting hit by a car and no longer being able to walk and getting mm -hmm. an insurance settlement. So we want the joyful, easy way. Yes. And Creator always, always knows what that looks like. So we'll offer you that opportunity if you ask for it. So each of these is done with joy and with ease. Yes, definitely. Now I offer you the opportunity to heal any sexual trauma, any experiences where you've shared with a partner uh, or where someone has taken that from you, uh, showing you it's safe and it's possible for you to open your physical realm to another person without the fear, without it being taken, uh, without them hurting that part of you, mm -hmm. that you know what it is to be safe, that you have the discernment through God on how to keep yourself safe and who to share that with. You know what that looks like for you and how to apply that to your life. That you know that it's safe to ask for what you want, that you deserve to ask for what you want, and that it's possible for you to ask for what you want and get it. Yes. That's a big <laughs> one for a lot of people. I'm feeling some trauma around this specific piece, so we'll release that too. If you got trauma, uh, any experiences um, around asking, we'll release the pain, the hurt, the suffering, mm -hmm. show you what life can look like, uh, asking for what you want and getting it with joy and ease. Yes, definitely. And now I want to show you that it's possible to bring the right kind of people into your life, mm -hmm. that you deserve to have people who will see you, who will take the time to know you, who will take the time to understand you and appreciate you and love you for who you are, that it's possible to attract the kind of people that will reflect to you how to grow in a joyful, easy way, uh, that it's possible to attract the people to you who will be there for the long term, mm -hmm. who will help you grow and obtain a better version of who you are, uh, who will help you see the better parts of life and help you achieve that for yourself. And, and that it is possible for you to know who that person is and offer the same for them. Yeah. Collectively, there's a lot of stuff on this one. Uh, so, I'm giving you the opportunity. Would you like to release yourself from your societal beliefs of what a relationship is supposed to look like? That you know how to tell when someone fits with you in the right way. Mm -hmm. And that you can release your expectations from it having to fit within a certain box. If you want that, just say yes. Yeah. And show you that you can release yourself from the expectations and be safe and know how to joyfully have something productive, safe, creative, that will take you where you want to go in life with joy and ease, without suffering, without sacrifice, without negative compromise. Yes. I don't know if there was anything else that came up in this moment, if uh, anyone had specifics specific comments or questions. Lots of people are saying yes, 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 yes. Hi, Monica and Derek for joining. Yes, yes, yes to all the healings. Yes, please join these. All kinds of wonderful comments. Hi, Ariel. Yes, yes, yes. And I got a what do you do? So please watch the replay if you're just joining in now. Go back and be sure to catch this full experience. Jen's given so much and we'll start wrapping it up. I know we could go on for hours. We've had very late nights where we've talked all about today's topic. So I encourage you to reach out to her after the show and she'll integrate us for now. All right, mm -hmm. So we're going to do an integration, which is just kind of 
putting all the pieces back in order so that uh, your subconscious knows what to do with them. Mm -hmm. So in this moment, I integrate everyone with joy and ease, showing them how to move forward with these new downloads, with this new information, and, and that they deserve to have all of this and the best version of it for their lives. Yes. Thank you. Awesome. And thank you guys so much for all your comments. There's yes, yes, true love. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And thank you for all the hearts that have been across the screen. I love you guys' engagement. And I love that you guys are sharing out the love and light in this world. And you're being that beacon of light and love and hope and positivity, and optimism in your own life and in other people. So thank you guys so much for showing up and doing this work in your life. So how can people get more involved with you? How can they stay connected after the show? So I'm Spirit Fox, if you're unfamiliar with me. Um, Spirit Fox Wellness is my business. Uh, we, I think, have linked my business page to this. And we'll be sure to put any new links in the comments below. Mm -hmm. And a little exciting thing for any of you who want to know more about this, you know, opening themselves to love, sex, relationship, mm -hmm. doing some healing, I'm actually going to offer five free coaching sessions. So comment below, send me a message on my Facebook page. The first five people mm -hmm. will be given the opportunity to have a free 30-minute session with me to help you open and release some stuff on these topics. Yeah. Um, the other thing, uh, you can send me a Facebook message through the business page. Mm -hmm. um, you can email me at sh.edget at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. And we'll be sure to take that in so you guys don't have to remember. <laughs> and um, you can give me a phone call or send me a text message. So 506 is my area code. 875-4672. We are here in Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, I don't know if they have to dial one or if it's different oh, sure. for your region but our country <laughs> code is one yes so uh so those are all different ways to get in touch with me and yeah i don't know what else to say <laughs> well thank you so much for joining us and thank you all for joining live i'll see if there's any more I'm getting lots of thank yous happy holidays i want in awesome so be sure to connect with me after yes i want one awesome Perfect. Thank you guys so much for joining. Hi, Terry, for joining. And be sure to let me know if you're watching your replay. So if you weren't able to join us live, be sure to just say hey when you actually watch it and share it to those who need. So let us know if you got value from it, what your most interesting fact was. We'll continue the conversation after we end this live broadcast so that you can get more love and light into your world. And I highly recommend a session with Shannon. She's done wonders in like minutes with me. So a whole half hour free, I would jump on that ASAP. So thank you guys so much for joining. And our next live broadcast will be New Year's Day. So I am taking the holidays off. I hope you guys have a fabulous holiday season. Merry Christmas. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye.